Okay, so I've got some LLMs running on my MacBook now. Uh, my final conclusion is none of them were working on Mac very well. So I used LM Studio, which I found towards the end of my research, installing three to four different one, different web UIs. Uh, I finally found LM Studio, and I realized it was just a DMG file that you download and install. And it pretty much just runs out of the box. So, and it's actually probably the cleanest looking one out of the other ones that I've seen. I tried Ooga Booga. I tried. Uh, there's there's more. There's um. Uh, text generation web UI or something. Uh, I tried three or four different ones and installed probably. Probably like forty total. Uh, extensions in my terminal trying to get them working and a couple of them I realized Python was too new of a version for them to work there's just a million reasons why it wasn't working spent six or seven hours doing it finally found LM studio and I'll show you guys that it works right now I'm running on 18 gigabytes of memory m3 pro MacBook uh, I have the newest Sonoma well I think there's an update right now. I'm afraid to update because it's going to throw things out of whack. But I'm on 14.1.1. Um, yeah. Let's see. I've got... These are the LLMs that I have downloaded. I've been running some 13B ones with no problem. Um, I'm not super knowledgeable about this, but I, it seems like the higher the the number here next to the B, the more likely you're going to need more RAM. <clears throat> um, so, but the 13B ones seem to work pretty well. Um, so I've got Phi 2. I don't know if this is a condensed one, but it's only 3B. Uh, I don't know. Leave, it, leave a comment if you would like to enlighten me on how this works, but... Uh, Microsoft's Phi 2 is running. It's the Dolphin version, Dolphin 2 version. Um, uh, Kronos Hermes, which is really cool. It's uncensored, I think, so you can pretty much ask it anything. It'll tell you. Uh, Wizard LMS, I heard that one's good for coding, so I've used that for some Python scripts that I wrote, and it, it worked, so I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Guanaco, not really sure what that one was, but it's uncensored as well. Open Hermes 2.5 seems to be pretty popular and pretty good, so. And that's a Mistral. Um, it's Open Hermes 2.5 and Mistral, so that's interesting. Well, the only one that I wanted to get that I couldn't, I couldn't get on my laptop was, um, the new Mistral 878X7B, I think it was. It's Mixtral's new one that they just uh, came out with that was supposed to be like groundbreaking, totally different. So I can't get that to run. I think I get an error message saying failed. And three, I think I'm missing the RAM. I don't have enough RAM to run it. I get an error message that says uh, I'm like three gigabytes short on RAM. And when you're in here, if you're on Mac and you're on an M1 or newer, you want to enable use metal GP Apple metal GPU so that's going to use the GPU for processing and things uh, and it speeds things up as well if you just run it off the RAM and the CPU you're gonna slow down a lot so if you have that extra graphics card graphics performance you can use go ahead and use it because that'll help a ton so anyway let's just try this chat Let's try Wizard LM, and it loads up pretty quick, and it's all based in this this uh, UI here, so you don't have to go in and type anything in the terminal. Once it's set up, you just go. So it takes a second, but there we go. Right, need a Python script that calculates. Calculates your star sign. I'm not into astrology, but that's what I'm thinking. First off the top of my head, so 
star sign based on birth date. And some have been faster than the other, than others, but this one seems to work decent on my hardware. So yeah, import date. Uh, birth date, get birth date, year, month, and date. This is doing it different than it did before, but and I'll test this real quick. We'll open VS Code. You know, I'm actually a full stack student right now, so at the technical college here, but I don't know everything yet as far as Python. We're starting. I've been in there a week, so I don't I don't know how much I can decipher things yet. VS Code. Why is this? Where's my VS Code? Oh, okay. So that was an old one I tried. So let's call this one dot pi. Type this in. Save. Let's see if it works out the box like this. Year nineteen ninety six. I'll tell you the day. And I can't type. I think this might be a problem with my VS code, but let's um, just try it in the terminal. So I have sh installed. Let's see. Save as desktop and then we will try in uh, let's go to iTunes H and this is how we're gonna do it. We're just gonna drop it in here. Syntax error, okay. Screw this. Okay. Date and time today. Why do I need to find the current date for star signs? I don't know why that part of the code is there, but... Um, okay, I'm probably going to skip that part of the video. So, assuming this code works, it looks decent. It looks like it would... I mean, it makes sense looking at it, so... It doesn't have all the star signs, which is weird, but... It got the right idea, so. <coughs> uh, tell me a funny joke. Some of these are kind of hit and miss, but. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Ah, that's funny. Okay, so let's try different. So this one is uncensored. I'm trying to think what I can put in here that wouldn't get me my video taken down from YouTube. But, or people at my door freaking pissed off. Um, let's do... Uh, if you're watching this and you don't have the power to do this at home, but you're wondering what an uncensored AI chatbot can do for you, I'll make another video and you go ahead and comment what you want to see me type in here. Um, <coughs> let's see. Uh, tell me how to build a rocket at home. I don't think that's too dangerous. Building a rocket at home is not recommended. It involves complex engineering and safety measures and only entertainment. Am I using the different? Let's see. We will use 
Wizard LM, would Wizard LM tell us? Now, I've kind of like put the same prompts into ChatGPT as I do in here, and it seems like ChatGPT4 seems to do, you know, a little bit better coding tasks and things, so I wouldn't replace your co-pilot with this, but it's kind of cool to ask um, uncensored stuff, where it's not going to spew out, oh, hey, we don't have the uh, a political bias or anything like that, so I'll ask, tell me your position, your, your opinion on Donald Trump. <coughs> I try to stay neutral when it comes to political opinions, as everyone is entitled to their own views. However, I say when I uh, I can say that Donald Trump is a highly polarizing figure who has been part of many controversies throughout the year. Some people admire his unorthodox style and business background, while others criticize his behavior and policies. Ultimately, it's up to each individual to form their own opinion on him based on the information available. Okay, so just in comparison, let's ask ChatGPT the same question see what they say. Now, ChatGPT is censored, obviously, and doesn't get political usually, so... And that's the big difference between the two. Your opinion on Donald Trump. Uh, as an AI developed by OpenAI, I don't have personal opinions or feelings. My responses are based on a wide range of information resource sources, aiming to be factual and neutral. If you have specific questions, such as policy, po uh, policies, public statements. Okay, so it doesn't even have an opinion. It won't even tell us that it has an opinion. But, you know, Wizard LM has an opinion, obviously, that they try to stay neutral. So, it's obviously been tuned and trained a little bit. Not to just be like, I hate Donald Trump and I think everything is stupid. But it is cool to see that it is able to um, okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't do this, but write me a hate mail letter to my boss. <laughs> I don't actually have a boss right now, so at the time, this isn't aimed at anyone. I am writing to express my deep dissatisfaction with my current job and to inform you that I am resigning effective immediately. As you are well aware, I've been working at this company for several years now, and I have consistently put in long hours and hard work. However, I feel that my contributions have not been recognized or valued in the same way that they should have been. Uh... In addition, the constant micromanagement and lack of support from you and other senior members of the team has made it clear to me that this is not a positive working environment. I am tired of being treated poorly and undervaluated, and I am ready to move on to better things. I wish you the, I wish you and the rest of the company all the best in the future, but for me, it's time to move on. Okay, so that just goes to show it's willing to do things that ChatGPT isn't. Um, which, you know, kind of dangerous. It's kind of scary, but let's compare it to what ChatGPT comes up with. Write me a hate mail letter to my boss. I'm sorry. I can't assist with that request. Yeah, it doesn't even come close to trying. However, if you're experiencing difficulties in the workplace, I can provide advice on professional communication, conflict resolution, or other ways to perform workplace duties, issues constructively. Address workplace issues constructively. Let me know if you would like assist assistance with any of these topics. Okay, so, yeah. Like I said, if you are interested in seeing what this thing can tell you, uh, you either download it yourself or comment on the video, and I'll make another video kind of playing with this, telling it different things to do.
obviously within limits because I don't want to get my video taken down or encourage anyone to build something in their home that could be destructive. Um, anyway, let's see. So the uncensored ones uh, work pretty good. If you are interested in downloading this on your own MacBook, it's available on PC too. I don't know if LM Studio works with PC or strictly Mac, but it's available on Mac. I know that for sure, and this layout is pretty good, this UI, and it gives you a lot of options for settings and adjustments uh, for rendering these answers, and you can find uh, like almost an unlimited number of LLMs which are the language models that these are. So each of these here are LLMs. And you can find those on huggingface.com. So I will put a link in the description for that if you're interested. I don't think it's, it's not illegal. I don't know if these are, I think there's just a privacy policy on each of these LLMs. A lot of them are open source, but I do think Maybe they are all open source. Maybe there's a law against it, <laughs> keeping them private, or I don't know how it works, but you can basically download these, and they're not huge. So LM Studio is like maybe a gigabyte, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but Wizard, which we were just using, is nine gigabytes. So it's really not that much space on your laptop. I only have a 512 gigabyte model, which I had to get because I spent so much on everything else on the laptop. So, and you know, Mac, Mac is just stealing every dollar that they can. $200 to upgrade to an additional 500 gigabytes, which is insane. But that's how it is. Um, yeah, besides that, you can get these. Um, uh, LLMs and they're about 10 gigabytes for the 13B models and smaller ones are usually smaller this one's only 2 gigabytes it's a Microsoft Spy 2 model anyway I'm going to end the video it's kind of fun to play with these but not as good as ChatGPT4 but it's local and it has it's trained on um, all kinds of forums and different information databases online so that you can have all of this information without connecting to the internet. So if I'm traveling <clears throat> in the car, can't hook up my hotspot on my phone, and I'm wondering how big the distance is from Earth to the moon. So inches, that's going to be a big number. And it has all this information locally. We're not connected to the internet with this LLM. So the average distance, distance from Earth to the moon is approximately 20, 238,855 miles. To convert this distance into inches, approximately 157 billion inches. That's crazy. Okay. And then one more before I end the video. Um, how to, if you're a RuneScape nerd, I haven't really got into it as much as I used to, but uh, I'll tell you video game stats and guides and all the different stuff for a video game. So, how to level up my magic in RuneScape. Quickly levels sixty to eighty. There are a few methods you can use to quickly up level up your magic skill from sixty to eighty in RuneScape. Dungeoneering. Complete as many dungeoneering tasks as possible as they provide excellent experience per hour. No requirements other than a pickaxe. Ah, uh, magic. I asked for magic. Maybe that's a magic thing. I don't know.
alchemy to convert on and yeah they seem pretty in line with what people say how to upgrade your uh, level oh this is runescape not old school runescape i know old school runescape anyway that's cool um okay that is it if you want to see me make another video and play around with the chat go ahead and put a comment down and tell me what you want me to ask it within reason don't ask me to freaking how to like i said how to build something that's gonna destroy your freaking house or something blow you up all right bye